Hey, welcome everyone. It is July 31st, uh, Tuesday. Now we got the date right. We're off to a good start. So before we start anything while everybody's signing on, let's go over a little of the legalities as usual. So always read the disclaimer. It's right down there in the description. Uh, past performance is no indicator of future performance. Uh, we are not registered investment advisors. Show is for entertainment purposes only. Nothing in this show is an offer to buy or sell any security. If you want to follow along with what we talk about we're doing, you do that on your own accord. Okay. Always consult a professional. <laughs> I always love the beginning of the show. It's so serious. And really, we always say it too, right? Trading should be fun. Trading should be fun. That fiduciary kind of takes the fun out of it. It's good protection, but it takes the fun out of it. Let's see here. We'll give everyone a couple minutes to sign on. So Apple will be reporting earnings and some big bets on the table for that. Let's get this straightened a little bit. There you go. So we got some good sound. So yeah, Apple usually releases at about 4.30. So that's about maybe about... 12 minutes from now. So let's go ahead and start the show. Um, you know, we were talking about it in our in our group, uh, our trading group, stockpickprofits.com. Uh, if you want to be a part of it, you know where to go. And, you know, we we're talking about it. And, you know, the big question right now is, is this the end of the bull market? So we thought, you know, the trade team kind of beat me up a little bit and said, just go on and answer this question already. So we're going to. So. Let's start off the show right like that, okay? Is this the end of the bull market? Is it? I mean, you you see so many articles, right? Morgan Stanley had a big article today. In fact, we got a link to it. Um, let me put this in the comments. We've got a nice little link to it. Uh, Morgan Stanley says the biggest correction in years is coming. And uh, Let's put that link down here for you. So if you guys want to read the article, we just put the link right in the comments. Um, so feel free. Okay. Yeah. And so, okay. The immortal question is, is this the end of the bull market? And we say, no, definitely not. It is definitely not the end of the bull market. Um, there's plenty more room to run in, in this market. Uh, you know, the economy's growing at a breakneck pace. They're talking about it growing even faster. We're in a rate rising environment, but they're raising rates very orderly and they're doing it very well. And Janet Yellen set the table real nice for Powell and he's doing a good job following through on it. Now, ignore and cut out the Trump uh uh opinions and stuff okay about gdp growth and seven eight percent always keep it logical and keep it reasonable so you know and that is the big question is it the end of the bull market so where do you see signals that this is the end of the bull market i mean we've just had this tech pullback right but we also too had what three or four all-time highs right before that is that a sell-off is that really a sell-off is that a cause for long-term concern well it could be because there were earnings reports involved right and the forward guidance wasn't exactly what people wanted it to be so maybe that's a signal right we don't think so but maybe that is a signal but there's also some signs that yes uh like we just said with the growing economy, with the growing earnings, earnings are actually growing. It's been a good earnings season. Now, you've had high profile misses, um, but for the, mo the majority of these stocks reporting, we're having a great earnings season and it probably is going to get better. Um, yeah, these tariffs, um, people are building fear of the tariffs into their forward report. So guess what? That's to a trader's advantage if you're on the right side of the trade. Why? Because it depresses the stock right now, gives you a buying opportunity. The tariff fear doesn't play out. And guess what? All of a sudden, you're on the right side of the trade. You bought at the bottom. Um, it's an interesting time. There was a big signal um, from the S&P today. And... It ended July positive. That's the first time since uh, the mid 1950s that the uh, market ended positive July, April, May, June, and July. Um, it's only done that a couple of times. And every time it's done this, uh, the beginning of August is soft, but the second half of the year has been a rally. 
So there's a signal that you might be, uh, the bull market might not be over, right? So did we miss a signal there? Because we we're so busy with these articles with Morgan Stanley and stuff, right? If you're watching CNBC today, it's the end of the world. Um, they're talking about these Apple earnings like it's either going to save the market or the market's going down forever. I mean, come on. Is it really that bad? No, of course not. So let's kind of talk about the trades we're in right now because, uh, uh, you know, we've been talking for about them for a couple of days. Uh, we were talking about that AKS trade. We, we held those into the earnings. They missed by two cents. Um, and then you've got that tariff fear built in the earnings. Stock was on about 12% today. So we're red on those options, but we bought out a couple months um, and they're actually still in the money. We bought, I believe, $5 calls. So uh, we're not worried about that play. Of course, we would have liked to hit those earnings and be cashing out this morning and stuff. But we had, again, remember what we always talk about. Um, we always talk about have an entry plan, an exit plan, and a contingency plan. Well, just like with AKS, we have an entry plan, which we, which we got our entry. We had an exit plan, and we still have an exit plan. But we had a contingency in case that earnings didn't go through the way we wanted. And they didn't. You know what I mean? But well, we still got a couple months on those options and they're still in the money and stuff. Or uh, I think they went just below the money today. I think, what did they close at AKS? About 460, something like that. We did, you know, we were just so not concerned about it right now. We we're concerned with other stocks. So yeah, it closed at 463, about 13% down. So, and like I said, that those Apple earnings don't stay, sit here staring at your phones and stuff because usually Apple earnings come out right at 4.30 on the dot. We still got about eight minutes for those. Um, we're still in that Q play that we were talking about. We bought those on Monday. Uh, we held those overnight because we wanted to see uh, uh, these Apple earnings first. And so we'll see how those goes. We're still very positive on the market. Um, the AINV trade, uh, that free trade we gave out that actually is one of our member services plays um, closed down a penny today. I mean, it's still five cents out of the money. I mean, oh, my God, that's that's an exciting play. And that was a free play we gave away, too. Um, so you guys that are following around, if you're playing that, uh, good luck with that. You know, the one regret we had this morning is yesterday we looked at industrials. Uh, and, the, and the chart just wasn't giving us any signals that we really wanted to see. But industrials blew up today. Uh, the ETF for industrials is XLI. And I think it was up about $1, $2 today. If we had gotten in those, we would have had a good one. So sorry, gang. We missed a signal on that one. Um, actually, we didn't get the signal we want. So, you know, you see how we always talk about that. You know, don't don't cry over spilled milk. You know what I mean? There's always trades coming down the line. But that that's one of the ones we were watching that we wished we had played. So, you know, overall, the market's doing fine. Uh, you know, we've had this three, four day sell down in tech. But again, remember, we just came off all these all time highs. So it, this goes back to what we've been talking to you guys about day in and day out. Um, and that's it's a stock pickers market. Uh, the market is just not uh, if that fang trade comes out of the market, if that fang trade, uh, we don't think it'll fall apart in the sense that the fangs just die. Uh, what we think is there's going to be separation in the fangs and what's going to happen is certain fangs are going to maintain their bullish posture and then there's one or two that are just going to kind of trickle away and uh of course those will get the focus right with cnbc and stuff because they love misery that's why people click links uh but other than that we think it's okay and we always we always say the same thing you know you know watch google watch apple because really those those really are uh more influential than anything else, and especially with tech, right? Um, we're very bullish on Apple's earnings after the bell. We're about five minutes away from that. Exciting times, huh? So that's basically the way we've been going today. Uh, you know, we, we just keep the show real quick because we know everybody wants to go watch the Apple earnings and stuff. There's also, too, uh, if you guys want to watch the conference call, we always talk about that, the uh, the guidance call where they talk about the quarter, they talk about the quarter, they just review, re, re, uh, reported. And then the company will talk about the quarter coming and they'll talk about what the challenges are, where they see the advantages are and whether they think their revenue will come in and stuff. And it's a very important call because always remember, when you invest, you're buying forward. You're not buying where the stock's going to be today. You're buying where it's going to be tomorrow and farther on. So that quarter coming up guidance is important so uh we'll post a link in here i've got the minions looking up the link we had a link uh 
earlier that we misplaced somehow. <laughs> Sorry about that, gang. But you can actually watch the Apple earnings call. And, it, and the Apple call is a fan, fantastic uh, conference call for you guys that have never listened to one before. They're very clear in their explanations. And it's a very massive company, right? You've got focus on iPhone sales. You've got focus on international growth. You've got focus on margins. You've got supply chain uh, issues, uh, positive or negative. There, there's just a lot involved in an Apple conference call. So you new traders, especially if you've got 30, 40 minutes, uh, we'll post the link after the show in the comments. You guys go watch that call. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Usually we tell you guys, don't waste your personal time on this stuff. We'll watch it for you. Um, but, you know, just for experience, that's that's a lot of fun. So you guys go check one out. So look, uh, we're about four minutes from the Apple announcement. So let's, uh, we're going to go through the uh, comments and if any questions or anything, uh, and then we'll just go ahead uh, and call it a day. And we're going to go watch that Apple's release, too. It's very, very exciting. One of the few times we have CNBC on the TV and the sound is turned on. <laughs> so look, gang, um, you got any questions? Go ahead and post them down there. Hey, Savar, welcome, man. I think I'm getting better at pronouncing your name, too. Uh, but, you know, welcome. Welcome all you guys out there that are uh, Samuels here. Uh, we see a couple of you out there. For you new subscribers, uh, welcome to the show. Um, but let's just do a quick one minute update and then we'll call it an afternoon. OK, uh, we're still bullish on the market. We think Apple will do very well with their earnings. Uh, there might be some kind of issue with the iPhone sales. But we think uh, recently they've had these big promotions with like T-Mobile and stuff. Apple, uh, you buy an iPhone, you get the iPhone free. Uh, and Sprint has had some great promotions and stuff like that. So we think that there's there's a nice buffer there for picking up the iPhone sales. Maybe the 10 sales weren't might not be exactly blowout sales, but we think they they probably cleared out a lot of that eight uh, Apple eight phones uh, inventory, which is always important to uh, forward growth. Right? You always want to get first in, first out with inventory. Uh, whatever's on the shelf. That needs to that is money that should be in your register. So the sooner you get it off the shelf, the sooner you put that money in the bank. Um, and that's the key to inventory management. So if they're pushing out iPhone 8s, that's a good thing. Uh, and we'll see if it equates to a good earnings report. So, you know, we're still bullish on the market. We're long those queues. Uh, for those of you that are following along on that trade, the strategy is if Apple hits and the market pushes in the morning, we'll sell into that strength. Um, and then we'll start looking for forward plays. We're still in the AINV play. Uh, we just got out of Huntington Bank shares. Uh, we just got that nice gain on that. Uh, we're looking forward to a good gain on the queues tomorrow. Uh, we're still in the AKS trade. We're actually a couple months out on that trade on those contracts. And we're just right outside the money. Uh, we know how AKS is with earnings reports. Uh, most of the time, they don't come out in our favor. Uh, and for some reason, sentiment always hits it real hard. But if you look at the charts and stuff with AKS, uh, the, t the two days after that earnings report is always tough. But then it starts putting that forward march again. There's a lot of people that like AKS, a lot of big companies, too. So also the last thing, let's throw this in. Um, well, we might draw into Apple's earnings here. But uh, that, the last thing, let's throw this in. Um, uh, shoot, I forgot what I was going to say now. But look. You know, we're still bullish on this market. Uh, we're looking forward to the Apple earnings. Uh, we're still in the Q play. We're still in the steel play. We're still in the AINV play, which was the free pick. Um, so you guys out there, just remember, it's a stock pickers market. And, you know, it's not about, you know, people ask us all the time, you know, which way do you think the market's going? And we always give our opinion. Right now we're bullish on the market, but really we don't care. We're going to make money going up the ladder. We're going to make money going down the ladder. We don't care. Um, of course, it's always better for business and the economy if the market's going up. So look, gang, let's call it an afternoon. Uh, let's go enjoy the Apple earnings. Uh, they should be kicking out just right now. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with a quick review of that. Remember the conference call. We'll post that link in the comments section. You guys have a great Tuesday afternoon. OK, we'll talk soon.